nobody's gonna love me better. I must get that dick forever. Um, if you have seen the title, you see that this is a 12 signs in love reading, Dante Tarot, January 2023. Make sure you guys are cool, calm, and collected. So, we are 900 hours, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not. We are 900 hours away from being monetized. <clears throat> and what does that mean, 900 hours? 900 watch time hours to be monetized. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so crazy. So when that happens, I'm gonna drop the um, cool, calm, and collected shirts on here. I'm gonna drop the cool, calm, and collected shirts when we get monetized. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So we're gonna do a 12 signs and love reading for January 2023. If I could um, have you guys' help to put the timestamps below. Um, we're gonna start with um, Aquarius and go all the way around to Capricorn. So Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn, period. I'm always available for private bookings. I'm always available for readings. People always get the perception that I'm so busy doing clothes, but I'm really not. It just looks like it occupies all my time. All right, y'all, here we go. Aquarius, you versus your person, baby. Let's see it. Aquarius, right now I see you not budging for nobody. I see you having the time of your life. Not necessarily like that you all the way like single. You know, you may have like some commitments here and there, nothing too crazy, but you're feeling free right now. You're feeling like you just want to dance. You just want to bust a move. You're not too focused on relationships within this time, Aquarius. If anything, you more focused on having your cake and eating it too. Aquarius, uh, the person that you are dealing with is feeling like they still have several chances with you. They still feel like, you know, um, there is a possibility or a potential for them to return or come back, period. Next we have Pisces. Next we have Pisces, Pisces in love, you versus them. January 2023. Pisces, you irritated with this person. You are so pissed off at this person. You like, oh, hell no. Nah. You want to dominate this person, Pisces. You definitely do. You want to dominate this person. I see you got some choice words for this person. Be careful, Pisces, of being too rough, you know, being too harsh, you know, just take it easy. Pisces, I see this person is on the lap of luxury right now, darling. They are about to literally ascend in their career. So crazy. This person is so blessed, so favored for generations. Literally, take it easy, Pisces. I don't think it is, is what it looks like, you know, from your perception. I need you to walk into things with like an open mind, okay? All right, uh, next we have Aries. Next we have Aries, you versus them. 12 signs in love. Aries, right now, you don't have much to work with when it comes to love. You kind of don't have too many expectations. You're feeling like every direction that you head in is like, it's, it's like a red flag. It's like a, 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 just not it. It's not right. You're like, oh Lord, I can't go here. Can't go there. I can't go there. You got your guard up right now. So when it comes to romance, you don't trust nobody. You definitely curious. You definitely put yourself out there, but you you definitely have your boundaries. Aries, you got some sneaky link energy coming your way, baby. Some sexy energy coming your way. This is giving like a new person. It's a new person arriving fine as folk, literally, darling. It's giving new sneaky link. New link. This is going to be very unexpected to you. You're not even worried about this at all, literally. Um, next we have Taurus. Taurus, 
right now, I see you've been through so much when it comes to romance. You know, you have finally purged a romantic situation that you were in denial of. Now you're finally cleaning the mess up that you made. You're feeling like, oof, you need some time to like catch up. I see your person feels very cheated and played by you. The way that things went down, the way that things happened, they feeling like you just have so many options. But for you, it's like, nah, bitch, I need to save myself. Literally. You like you fucking hoe. Um, next we have Gemini. Gemini's in love. Gemini's in love. You versus them. Gemini, I see you having some good interaction with this person, you know? I see y'all having some good conversations. I see either this person brings you a lot of emotional energy or you bring to them a lot of emotional energy, literally. It looks more like it's you bringing them that energy. This person got a lot of issues, um, mental and emotional blockages. I see you looking at them like, boy, you need some, or girl, you need some healing, you need some love, but you need to be careful of creating that cycle and then creating a codependency between you and them, Gemini. Next we have Cancer, everybody built like a dancer, you versus them. Cancer, this is the ultimate romance with this person. You have found your complete match. You're about to find your complete match. You walking away with the trophy this February 14 is you, bitch. It's like two hearts meet. A connection meets, a connection collides. Oh my God, can't see your person feel like you out of this world. Like you so ethereal, you so fine as fuck. Um, I see they're fine as fuck as well. You're gonna feel like you don't even believe it. Literally, this February 14th, you're gonna feel like, wow, like this is so crazy. I've never been, I've never had somebody fuck with me like this, you know? All right, next we have Leo. Leo, that does not stop coming out for y'all. Even when I do the collective ratings on TikTok, like y'all are here dealing with um, some um, codependent. Um, relationship whoever it is that you're dealing with i see you way smarter than this person you wasting your time you are wasting your time um i see right now this person loves attention <clears throat> so they try to keep you like wounded up they, they try to keep you like distracted they try to like make so much noise so that your um ultimate attention is on them literally uh, next we have Virgo. Virgo, be careful, Virgo. You are extremely fertile, my darling. It's giving pregnancy vibes. Um, right now, this person has like made you realize yourself. This is like the dig the coochie that grew you up, you know, that turned you into the freak elite that realized you. You know, we all have that one, literally. I see this person that you're dealing with, Virgo, knows it, darling. They know it. I see this person is not way more conscious than you because you see them, but I see you really attracted to like how smart they are, how smart they are, how much they know, how intuitive they are, how well they know you. Um, this person has really studied you, Virgo, a lot, completely, and they always will. Um, I don't, I don't know if this is a good match. Not to say that it's not, but I'm just like, wow, this is so, like, intense. This is an intense-ass connection. It's so, like, powerful. They love you for, like, you know, you just being in control of shit. You just being, like, the boss that you is. They see baby mama vibes, baby daddy vibes in you. Next, we have Libra. Libra, I see you independent. You, um... You F and F right now. I'm F R E E fuck nigga freak. That's literally you. Literally. I see a person um chasing after you, Libra. It's like you leaving and this person is chasing after you. Like, bitch, where are you going? Where the fuck you going? You know what I'm saying? But you gone. You too far gone. They ain't gonna be able to catch up to you beyond this point, Libra. Mm-hmm. Next we have Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio, you're feeling like this is a divine union. You're feeling like you and this person are like two children. You're feeling like God sent you this union, this romance. You're like, wow, everything is so divine. You're feeling like this person is so intelligent, so smart, so disciplined, so put together. You know, they're very attractive and sexy because they just like so responsible, literally. You love that. It just puts you at peace. The fact that they're so responsible, the fact that they're so put together, literally. 
Um, yeah, and this person likes you because you, you, you warm them up, Scorpio, you know? They're like so cold, you know, almost disconnected and a little bit. You just bring their walls down. Um, next we have Sag, you versus them. Sagittarius, that does not stop coming out for you. I see you ignoring somebody. Dead ass. You, you is giving one nice thing. you like, all right, thanks, bye. You're like, I'm good. I see you ignoring a lot of people right now, Sag. You're just not with it. Um, Sag, all you worried about is this, this like, connection. Like, damn, is it going to leave? Is it going to stay? Are they going to come back? Is it going to continue? It is. It is. Just make sure you fill your own cup. I see the person that you're dealing with is very vibrational. I see sometimes emotionally, like, it does take a toll on you whenever there's, like, a disconnect or, like, a lack of attendance, uh, emotional exchange. So just be careful. And then last but not least, Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, my God. You and this person do not stop thinking about each other. Lord have mercy. Y'all love to like get under each other's skin. Like the just the witty, the power of the wits, the power of the strength. It's like y'all like to wrestle, you know, like mm, like me mug, you know, be mean to each other. It's like Helga and Arnold, you know. Um, I see this person is thinking about coming to see you currently. This person is thinking about coming to see you. They want to see you. I see you got a headache over thinking about this person. Like, oh my God, you know, what could they be doing? What could they be up to? This, that, the third, etc. They, They coming, baby. They're coming to see you. They on their way. Y'all, I love y'all so much. Remember to um, please help me with the timestamps down below if it resonated with you. Um, I'm always available for private bookings. I do offer relationship readings. You can DM me on Instagram or Facebook for a relationship reading. And I'll see you later.